This presentation is delivered by the Stanford Center for Professional Development. Richard Dasher. Among the several jobs I do at Stanford, I direct the U.S. Asia Technology Management Center. And the U.S. Asia Technology Management Center is producing a series of public lectures and university seminars this autumn about green technologies in transportation, recent developments from Asia. This is available for Stanford University credit to Stanford students under course number Electrical Engineering 402A, Topics in International Technology Management. So what we're trying to do with this series is to capture a very important set of developments. Transportation accounts for about 28% of all of end-use energy in the United States, and in China it accounts for about 20% of all energy consumption. Now, out of that energy consumption, transportation accounts for about 60% of all of the petroleum use in the world, and this includes things from liquid natural gas to gasoline and jet fuel and diesel and so forth. So in uh, 2009, China surpassed the United States and became the world's largest automobile producer and market. China had 170 million automobiles on the road at the end of 2009, and the country predicts that there will be an additional 220 million cars on the road by 2020. So, not surprisingly, China's share of uh, CO2 emissions has grown up, has grown drastically. From 1973, when it accounted for about 5.7% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions, to uh, 2009, when it accounted for 23.7%. So, the issue of transportation needing to become more green is widely understood. What we're going to look at in this seminar series with distinguished speakers from industries, from government organizations, maybe from another university or two, is three major types of content. The first major area are the vehicles themselves. So we'll be talking about electric automobiles, we'll be talking about electric buses, we'll also be talking about technologies to improve the performance of ships and uh, airplanes. We'll be talking about efficiency through the use of new materials, we'll be talking about efficiency through new powertrain technologies, and also through new approaches to using IT. So that's the first major sector. Second major sector in this will be fuels and energy storage. We have to look at the battery technologies as well as the vehicles in which the batteries are uh, being placed. And finally, many people think only of electric vehicles when they think about green technologies and transportation. But it's very important to consider the total system. To look at the entire kind of logistical system all around air transport is a very useful way to find efficiencies on the ground that can reduce the energy footprint of the whole industry. Also, intelligent transportation systems are a major feature of new green technologies in transportation. We're talking about road sensors, sensors in vehicles, and advanced computing that might be able to reduce the total number of hours or number of miles that a transportation network has to bear. Um, in fact, the whole system concept really includes just changing the way that people behave from using their own cars to adopting public transportation. We're focusing in this series on what's going on in Asia. That's probably less heard about than what's happening in the U.S. or in Europe, and yet there are uh, initiatives in every major Asian economy to improve the greenness of transportation. For example, China by 2020 plans to increase its hybrid and electric vehicle production to 15% of all of the automobiles produced. It's going to double its long distance high speed rail network. And in the Beijing area, it's going to increase the line distance of its metro rail system 
to 660 kilometers by 2015 and over 1,000 kilometers by 2020. South Korea has a plan to increase the share of its total transportation by rail to 15%. In 2010, it was 8.7%. Malaysia is already in phase two of an electric vehicle roadmap in which it's running pilot projects with Proton and Mitsubishi and Nissan uh, Motors. So we have a number of different issues that we need to deal with in this series. For this particular session right now, I just want to give you a few of the highlights that are coming up. On October the 4th, our first session in the series, I'll be giving a more in-depth overview of what's going on. Uh, on October 11, we have Dr. Osamu Onodera, who is the Silicon Valley representative of a Japanese government organization, the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization. He's going to be talking about their investments in green transportation, especially areas such as integrating electric vehicles to the grid. On October 18, we have Professor Hiroshi Shimizu, who is the CEO of a company called SimDrive, a Japanese startup company that has a new in-wheel electric motor that not only can be used for new electric vehicles, but even could convert older gasoline-powered cars to electricity. On October 25th, Sandra Itkoff, who is a vice president of the very large Chinese firm, BYD, will be talking about batteries for electric vehicles. BYD is the second largest battery producer in China. On November 1st, uh, Mr. Toshiyuki Kondo, who is the CEO of Torre Composites America, will be talking about their carbon fiber materials that are now in the newest aircraft, like the Boeing 787, and what kind of prospects these materials have in the automotive industry. So we'll also have some sessions further on in the series about emission scrubbing. We're expecting to have a panel discussion on maritime transportation. We're trying to engage a speaker on air transportation systems and on the role of IT convergence in uh, green transportation. The series will continue through December the 6th. It's open to the public. If you can be here in person, we always put out some refreshments at the end of the session and are happy to enjoy face-to-face -face networking. But we are very happy if you can watch us on YouTube or if you're a Stanford student, if you can watch us through SCPD. And uh, we look forward to having you as part of the series. Thank you very much.